Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. It has been a while since I filmed a vlog. I think the last vlog I filmed was Christmas Day and we are in January already. So I feel kind of weird picking up the camera in that style, but here we go. Today I have a vlog for you. It is a Saturday, so we're gonna do a weekend in the life and Believe it or not, we still haven't finished that bathroom renovation that we started. And if you watched my Vlogmas, you will have seen that we started a bathroom renovation just before Christmas. And then things kind of got to a halt because of the holidays. And then right after New Year's, I started with the fibromyalgia flare. So I am just recovering from that. But today I'm feeling a little bit better and the construction all over my hallway is really getting on my nerves. It's starting to really annoy me and I really want to get it done. So I'm going to push a little bit, try to get that done. I already had a shower in the morning and you're probably asking, why would you be having a shower just before doing construction work? And the reason is because I was in so much pain this morning and the hot shower really helps relax my muscles. So yeah, that's what I did. Probably have to have another shower later, but um, I will cover my hair uh, because I did just wash and dry my hair and I really do not want to do that again. That takes up so much energy for me, so definitely not doing that again today. Then I want to do some juicing. I have been doing some juicing and I find it it's a really good way to try to get some vitamins. I kind of get a little bit nauseous when I'm in a lot of pain so it's really hard for me to eat and get nutrition so by juicing I can get a lot of concentrated vitamins so I'm going to do a bunch and have it in the fridge because it is a lot of work to wash the whole juicing setup so I'll probably try to do about four bottles of juice so that I can have it for the next two or three days and then later in the day depending on how my energy is I I might cook dinner. There is the salmon dish that I want to make that sounded really good from a recipe I saw online and I've been wanting to make it but haven't really had the energy for it. Let's see how today goes because between like washing my hair and then working on the bathroom I might use up all my spoons, we'll see, but if I do have a little bit of energy left, I might cook dinner and then I'll show you. So got my hair protected, so no dust is going to go on my hair. And let me show you how the bathroom is looking now. Here's the floor, the vanity with the taps working. Looking really nice. And the wall, we're sort of halfway done. And then we're gonna make this built-in shelf so that all the toothbrushes can be organized and not taking space of the countertop. And this is the new shower head. I started repairing that hole on the wall, so I'm still mudding, have to sand, and that's a lot of work. Sanding drywall compound is the worst because it makes so much dust and it's such a fine dust that gets like all over the house. So I think I'm gonna try to connect the vacuum to the end of the electric sander and see if that will help with the control of the dust. We'll see how that goes, but I've just been postponing that because I am dreading all the dust. I am done for today. So we just finished this part here that had most cuts and that's very, very time consuming. We did one more row and that's it for today because I pulled something on my shoulder here and I am in so much pain. So I'm gonna try the hot tub and then I'm gonna put the TENS machine on 
and then I'm going to apply my pain relief uh, essential oil from Sage and see if that helps because oh, it is so, so sore and I don't know, I'm probably not gonna cook the salmon that I wanted tonight. We'll see if the pain improves after I go to the hot tub, but I am gonna try to make that juice. So we'll see, we'll see. So the juicing is done. I am heading to the hot tub because I am in so much pain. I definitely overdid it with the bathroom and then standing doing all that prep. It is so much work to do juicing. It's crazy. But the good news is we looked through our fridge and there's so many leftovers that there's no need to cook dinner. So I'm just going to head to the hot tub now, hopefully my pain will get a little bit better and then I'll be able to eat and then I'm gonna take a muscle relaxant, use my TENS machine and apply my oil. It is Sunday morning. I am just drinking my coffee and trying to wake up. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it just takes so long to wake up in the morning. It's like my brain takes an hour to wake up. And I usually just sit and sip my coffee until my brain is awake. And it's great that I'm not working now and I can do that, but when I had to work and I was on call and my pager would go off and I literally had five minutes to be out the house, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. So I'm so thankful that I actually get to have slow mornings now and I am fully taking advantage of that. 
So I'm usually not very hungry in the morning, but today for some reason I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich. I don't like regular eggs, but I do like the idea of a breakfast sandwich because it's filling and I don't mind just eggs. So which is the vegan version of eggs. So I'm gonna try that. And I also have some uh, plant-based bacon. So let's see how that turns out. And I'm gonna put that on a bagel and maybe some mayo, tomatoes, and see how that turns out. First, I'm gonna go warm up my coffee for the third time because I am such a slow drinker. And my coffee just keeps getting cold. Oh my gosh, you guys, the sun is coming out. You know, it's been, I don't know, I don't think we've had sun for a week. It's been such a long time. This is so exciting. And what is the temperature? Let's see what the temperature. It's zero degrees uh, Celsius. So that is actually not bad. So let's see if it's windy and does not look like it's windy so today may be a walk day that would be so good to get some fresh air i haven't been out the house in probably a week and yeah i'm starting to feel like the cabin fever can you see the sun on my face oh my goodness this is so exciting i can't believe i actually may go out and get some fresh air today but first let's have some breakfast and i'm going to have it with that juice that i made yesterday so we're on for a good start today i'm feeling good so this is the just eggs that I was talking about. This is the plant-based bacon. Um, I have everything bagel, tomato, and mayo. Apparently everybody gets hungry here at the same time. It is 11.10 and everybody's making food. We have my breakfast sandwich with my special juice. Then we have mashed bananas with what else is in those mashed bananas? Cinnamon oats. Cinnamon and oats. And almonds. What are you making, Clara? Um, I'm making an egg salad. So hard boiled egg, mayonnaise, mustard, onions, celery, green onions, and bagel. I think I'm the winner of the tastiest no, breakfast. Pasta. I mean, look at this beauty here. And look at this juice. You can't beat that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Does the egg taste like egg? You want to try? Sure. I need to get a bite of everything. I don't think you got a bite of everything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I have no denise. Mm -hmm. Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's had some crunch. BLT. Texture is everything. Mm -hmm. Well, the bacon is crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair. But that like hydrating crisp, you know what I mean? And this is so good. What's in it? Orange, carrot, beet, ginger, pineapple. And that's it. No apple? No, not in this one. There's apple in the green one. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Super good, huh? Mm -hmm. Tastes a lot better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy doesn't have to be bad. Doesn't have to taste bad. Where's your brekkie, Kayla? It's like, yeah, everybody's eating but me. Where's your brekkie? 
You already had Brecky, that's why. You already had your Brecky. So I have finally gotten outside to go for a walk. The day, the weather has changed quite a bit. The sun is gone. It has gotten colder and it started to wind. But I decided to go out anyways because I do need the fresh air. And I got my, do you see this flashing? I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is a heated jacket. So you attach, there's a rechargeable battery and I just put on the highest setting now because I am starting to get cold. I'm wearing gloves, a hat, I have a warm hoodie underneath and this jacket, but it's pretty chilly, but I do need to get the fresh air and I do need to get outside. So I kind of force myself to do it. I hope it doesn't make my muscle worse, like if my muscles contract and then that pulled muscle that I got from yesterday, I hope that doesn't get worse. I might have to jump right into my hot tub when I get back. Other than that, I really want to get the habit of getting fresh air and getting some exercise. And if I can't get outside, I want to at least get on the treadmill or do some weights in our basement. We have a little gym set up, so there's really no excuse. And I wanna see if it helps with this flare because since January turned, I've just been, oh, my lips are kind of frozen. Mmm, hard to talk. Uh, but like I was saying, since January rolled in, I have been just really stuck in this flare and have not had much energy and haven't done much and it really starts to affect my mental health i start to feel really depressed and uh, anxious so i really want to use exercise to uh, improve my mood to improve my sleep Ooh, it's breezy I can feel my lips freezing. But yeah, not moving, not getting out of the house, it really contributes to depression and me feeling super down. It's like dark days, it gets dark early, we barely see the sun, and then on top of that, not doing anything, it's just a recipe for anxiety, depression, more pain. So I really want to be proactive about it and move more. And I'll share my progress with you guys. We'll see how many setbacks I'll have and how hard it will be to get into a routine. But I'm very, very motivated to committing to exercising and moving and we'll see how it goes i'll bring you guys along and you can see how it's going for me and maybe even some of you may get motivated and join me on this new year goal of getting more active moving more and hopefully improving our chronic illnesses a little bit i'm going to wrap up this vlog here but i will be uploading a video on um, how to exercise with fibromyalgia, tips for exercising with fibromyalgia, and that will be coming up this Sunday, so make sure not to miss that one. And I'll link it up here uh, once it's uh, uploaded. And uh, yeah, I'll be sharing my top tips on how to exercise when you have a chronic illness. The tips that I share in this video are the guidelines that I'm going to be using for my own uh, fitness journey. So join me if you can. I'll see you at next week's vlog.